Hey, this is the follow through. I'm Pastor Fred. Great to have you with us. Hit that subscribe button. We are uh, looking at the different habits of the faith, right? What did Jesus do? What, what, how did he do life? Uh, and, and today we're going to talk about choosing church, right? Because Jesus is the one who brought us together as church, as his family. Uh, and so he's calling us to choose that, to say that's important. That's more than an institution. It's more than that, right? It's, it's something that the very gates of hell are not going to prevail against. How cool is that? Now today we want to look at, uh, we're going to be in 1 Samuel 14, verse 6. Uh, we're in day 37, right? Winding down the days here um, of this challenge. Now here's the thing. Um, should church be about the past or the future? Uh, and, and, and very often, we, we all love talking about stories of the past, don't we? And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's great. Those, those inform where we've been. They, they can show us the, the, the incredible faithfulness that God has had to us in the past. Um, they can be what unites us. They bond us, right? We, we all resonate with that story. Maybe we were all there for when it happened. But see, the problem is that when, when they stop being something that moves us forward because the church is always about now and and where we're headed and and so if, if I get stuck in the past I get stuck uh, and all those things begin to bind me to the past and then and then so what happens is I can never change anything now or in the future uh, in fact it won't really be about moving forward in fact, so so look at first Samuel chapter 14 uh, verse 6 this is a story of, of you know, this war that Israel was waging with the Philistines. And Jonathan is going to go to war, right? He's going to go and he's got a battle. Uh, and in verse 6 of chapter 14, we read that, that, that Jonathan said to the young man who carried his armor, right? Come on, let's go over to the garrison of those uncircumcised, right? Let's, let's go. But there's the Philistines. We're heading there into that battle. It may be that the Lord will work for us. For nothing can hinder the Lord from saving by many or by few. So whether our army is massive or our army is just a few guys, if God is, is in it, and if, God, if that's where God wants us to be, and if God has promised to fight for us, then, then there's no telling what, what He can do. And so we need to be not back here, but out there. And so if we can agree that, that what we're in now is a battle, and we got a lot of hurting people and there's a lot of folks that don't have what we have as believers or as Christians. That then we got to look at, okay, what, what does the future look like? Where, where are we heading? And I can remember a Facebook conversation I had with someone a, a number of years ago. Uh, we were looking at vision in our church and looking at, you know, what is the mission? And really grappling with those kinds of things. And some people thought that was wrong. We're like, well, you, you just do church, right? You have a service, right? You, 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 that, that's all you do and you don't really think about what's going on in the community they, they, they were kind of against looking at like 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 who would need to be helped and I kept thinking to myself well like like what if my church hadn't thought about starting a school all those years ago well, we, we, we wouldn't be ministering to and and making a difference in the lives of all the kids that we do right now uh, a church that starts working with a local food food pantry or uh, that starts to do work with the homeless or goes into a city and, and helps there, uh, does a literacy program with somebody, uh, right? You name it. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's saying, okay, this is why we exist. Because God has given us so much so that we can go out and help so many. The battle's out there. Let's go. Look at what God can do. I know it's scary. I know for Jonathan, it must have been scary going up against those Philistines. They were like giants. And the things in our life seem like giants for the church and for all of us. But God's going, no, I got you. I got this. Let's go. Let's move. Because, because there's nothing that he can't handle. And there's nothing that he like can't achieve. And, and so he's calling us, let's, let's choose church. Let's choose to be together in this and move forward. All right. I, I pray that that helps you today uh, in, in your book, The Challenge for Today. Uh, the question is, if you could join God's story anywhere, where would you join and what would you do? You know what I mean? Like, like again, how are you going to live this out? as God's church, as God's people. Hope that helps. Let's be praying about that. And I can't wait really to hear uh, what God's going to do with our churches 
uh, as we move forward in mission. All right, we'll see you next time for another follow through.